So I just stumbled across this. This is Telos or Telos Linux. This is a brand new Linux distribution based on Debian. Uh, running KDE Plasma, has a bunch of stuff pre-installed. It's supposedly lightweight, but attempts to be fully featured and easily customizable. Uh, it's free and open source software, but there's some non-free drivers installed. And what we're going to be doing is taking a look. Now, this is all I've really seen. I haven't actually clicked on any of these screenshots, but it looks like it's a mixture of GNOME and KDE. So what we're going to do in this video is go ahead and just do an initial first impressions, uh, see what's actually on this Linux distribution, and see if it's really worth checking out. Uh, you can see the last update was just five hours ago. It has less than a thousand downloads, and there is one review. I went and then tried to find like a GitHub page or an actual website for this, and I could not find anything to save my life. And on this site, uh, it goes over some of the features here, but if I like go over to the wiki, there's nothing. Except for there's this readme file down here, so let's actually go ahead and open this up. Let's, it's just a readme, so let's hope it's nothing sketchy. So open file. Okay, cool. Let's see, what is it? They do have some more information on here. Is it safe is a question. I am curious about that as well. Uh, it is safe and designed following the Linux standards if you find any issue. Uh, what is this, ISO? Sorry, I'm, kind of, I'm doing this on the go. I just found this and I'm trying to see exactly what it is. Uh, can I use touch screen? So just basic stuff. I'm not going to read through this now. This might be important though. The live USB password is ION. Okay, so we'll keep this open in the background. Uh, I hit the download button before I started recording. So let's go ahead and boot into a virtual box and check out what this actually is. Let's give it eight gigs. Let's see what we get. So it's running the 5.10 kernel. So that's good. At least we know that it's moderately up to date. All right, so we are booting into Plasma. Um, the resolution is very low, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, it's very laggy out of the get-go. And this is a pretty beefy machine, so even VirtualBox shouldn't be this laggy. I do not like this. The very first thing I'm seeing, I'm, I'm, I do apologize with the resolution, I haven't been able to go in and fix that. Uh, the very first thing that it gives you is a completely full screen Google. So let's try to uh, get out of this here. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh no. Uh, um, okay, I was able to open the menu. Let's try to change the resolution. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. This should be fine. Oh, didn't let me do it. It's not letting me change this. It goes for a sec. I'm gonna have to install this real quick so I can actually install the uh, VirtualBox drivers. Whoa, it jumped over there. <laughs> oh, what was that password? So we're going to install Debian. Like I said, this is based on Debian. Um, and we'll eventually be able to get in here. There we go. Okay, bullseye installer. So it's just a typical uh, Debian installer here. America, let's erase the entire disk. Next. I really want to go and play around in it, but I really don't want to uh, present this without being in full screen. Because then the... No matter what operating system or distribution or anything you're in, if you're running at an 800 by 600 resolution, it's going to look like garbage. Ooh, here we go. We got a little terminal. So I got the resolution to switch. So now we can actually go ahead and explore this distribution. Um, this is over here now. I think some of the issues that we were initially seeing was to do with the resolution. But overall, um, I do like how the background's animated. Uh, I don't like whatever dock they're using. Let's see. Uh, icon only task manager, so it's just a customized, if I go edit panel, yeah, so it's just a customized, somebody made their own little KDE uh, set up here and shipped it. Um, close that out. But let's see what ships with this distribution here. So we have Arc, Cheese, uh, Discover, dun, dun, dun. it's a very laggy, even for being on a virtual machine. Um, Dolphin. The install Debian it has Kazam by default, KDE Connect, so a lot of the KDE stuff you'd expect. Uh, TLOS, we're going to open that up in just a sec to see what's going on. It ships with Kodi. I did see something that mentioned that it did have Kodi by default, which that's a really, really interesting uh, decision to make to ship a distribution with Kodi. I mean, it's not a bad decision. Let's see, Let's see what their branded application is. So everything seems to open up in full screen. It's just a link to SourceForge. So this is what we were just looking at earlier. Uh, um, okay. 
they make all the applications full screen and I can't really I don't know if there's any like hotkeys to close applications Windows C no um, so I gotta like put my mouse over here and hopefully this menu comes up and then close it out now I know I could just make that stick but I'm kinda trying to use this how they want me to use it uh, file manager dun 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 dolphin which is to be expected let's see how this is running let's go ahead and just open up uh, htop instance so let's go into the terminal and does it have htop that's the real question htop is not installed so they have Kodi but no htop this is so slow I mean I record in virtual machines all the time and none of them it's never been this bad uh, okay so let's run htop see the process usage it's not really giving me too much information but you see my cpu is maxed out at a hundred percent which the plasma shell apparently is using all that cpu which doesn't make sense because plasma is a moderately lightweight desktop environment so resource utilization is not the strong suit of this distribution let's open it up through here so i can see the specific ram usage here it's only using 600 megabytes so that's pretty good on ram but the cpu is just full throttle plasma shell 100 percent it's probably this animated background here let's see if changing that fixes this let's go plain color let's let's set a plain color okay let's see if that helps a little bit damn okay so as you can witness the animated background that for some reason they decided to put was completely throttling the cpu usage so now we are we are back to stable levels so <laughs> the decision to use an animated background was not the move all right now that we're actually able to use the system <laughs> let's close that out and take a look at these applications one more time it ships with the regular version of google chrome not chromium not brave just google chrome so that's another interesting decision we already saw uh cody so that was one of the things that uh, we already saw cody and let's go on this page you have kwrite pdf stuff spectacle system settings it comes with team viewer out of the gate so that's another interesting decision i get team viewer is a good and popular application but it's very rare i see something like team viewer installed in a linux distribution i think the last one that had something like that installed was that weird windows fx distribution i took a look at and that is one that i also was not a fan of and i know this was released i think a couple days ago but so far it, it's not good the whole animated background thing that was sucking up so much resources like maybe if i installed it on my actual physical hardware it would run okay but even then that was using up a crazy amount of resources so let's let's end this off let's go over to settings real quick so we can actually see how this shows up in settings the logo that comes up is the uh kde plasma logo telos linux smart debian respin yeah i am not impressed uh nine to five linux did an article about this that's where i originally found this and they, they usually they do articles on good stuff but when i saw this i was like oh that's cool and i'm looking at it i knew i shouldn't have been too excited when i couldn't even find like a github page for it when an application's only source of download is sourceforge you need to be cautious when you are proceeding forward uh other than that i do hope you all have a absolutely beautiful day there's lots of good stuff coming this week so make sure you are subscribed and you ring that bell Please like this video if you did, but I completely understand if you do not. Uh, leave a comment if you've checked out this distribution or if you would like me to check out any other distributions. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.